Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to install and configure PHP on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS by following Ubuntu's official documentation. So, let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and browse this URL and then follow this instruction. PHP is a general purpose scripting language well suited for web development since PHP script can be embedded into HTML. Prerequisites Before installing PHP, you should install Apache web server and a database service such as MySQL database server. To install the Apache package, follow this Apache guides or you will find a link in video description how to install Apache web server on Ubuntu Linux. To install and configure a MySQL database service, you will find a link in video description how to install and configure MySQL database on Ubuntu Linux. Let's install PHP. PHP is available on Ubuntu Linux, but unlike Python, must be manually installed. To install PHP and the Apache PHP module, you can enter the following command into a new terminal. Let's open a new terminal by pressing Ctrl Alter T at the same time or you can open new terminal from application launcher then copy this command and paste here now hit enter now enter the password for this user hit enter now type y to continue installation hit enter it may take a while for installing now verify php installation using this command php hyphen hyphen version install optional packages PHP CLI command line interface. You can run PHP script via the command line interface. To do this, you must first install the PHP CLI package. You can install it by running this command on terminal. I'm going to clear the screen. Hit enter. Already PHP CLI is the newest version installed in my machine. Also install PHP CGI, copy this command and paste here. Already installed and also to use MySQL with PHP, you should install the PHP MySQL package so copy this command and paste here to install php mysql package type y and then hit enter to continue installation and also to use first greysql with PHP, you should install the PHP PGSQL package. If you want to use this package, you must install PostgreSQL database on your system.
Okay. Now I'm going to configure PHP. If you have installed the live Apache 2 mode PHP or PHP CGI packages, you can run PHP script from your web browser. If you have installed the PHP CLI package, you can run PHP script at a terminal prompt by default. When live Apache 2 mode PHP is installed, the Apache 2 web server is configured to run PHP script using this module. First, verify if the files exist. This file and this file. So, go back to terminal and use this change directory command to navigate to this directory now navigate to config enabled directory Sorry. Navigate to modes enabled directory. Now find out PHP version dot config file and also PHP version dot load file okay if they do not exist you can enable the module using this command okay once you have installed the php related packages and enabled the apache php module you should restart the apache 2 web server to run php script by running the following command at first, I'm going to enable this module using this command. So, we open the terminal and type sudo add to and mode php 8.3 my case hit enter now enter the first word php 8.3 already enabled you should restart the apache 2 web server to run php script by running the following command copy this command and open new terminal and paste this command hit enter now enter the first word hit enter that's it now check the apache 2 service status using this command whether the apache web server is running or not that's it apache 2 service is active running okay let's test your setup to verify your installation you can run the following php info script navigate to this directory okay open in terminal
let's create a directory with sudo privilege enter the first word now navigate to this directory and open with any text editor in my case visual studio code is preferred create a file i am going to name it php info dot php at first give the read write permission to this directory using this command sudo hyphen r dollar sign user clone user and then enter the directory name here hit enter now reopen in any text editor now paste this script here save this file now i'm going to run this script on my web browser localhost slash test slash php info dot php that's it that's it if you are uh, new to this channel subscribe this channel and like comment share thank you so much for watching this tutorial